Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Heart Readings. I hope you're all well and safe. In today's Pick a Card, we'll be looking at the truth about disconnection. We'll be looking at your feelings and your person's feelings. So, please take a few deep breaths and once you're ready, please pick a pile. Pile 1 will be the Opalite. Pile 2 will be the Clear Quartz. And Pile 3, the Amethyst. Hello Pile 1 and welcome to your reading. For all those that choose this Opalite Crystal, in today's pick card, we'll be looking at the truth of this connection. We'll be looking at your feelings and your person's feelings. So let's see what you've got. We've got self-reflection. First chakra, Archangel Michael. Justice. Eight of Cups, Four of Cups, Knight of Staffs, and the Four of Coins. Okay, bear me for a moment whilst I'll try and connect with the energies. So what is the truth about your connection? About this connection? Okay, the first thing I'm seeing, the underlying theme in regards to this connection is to do with your own inner security, your own sense of who you are, your foundations, your beliefs, your stability. And I do feel there's some issues around your own self-love and worth. This may be in relation to your energy or a person or both even. But I feel there's some work that needs to be done on the root chakra. The root chakra is about our connection with the world, how grounded we feel, how secure we feel. It's in, it's it's surrounding self worth, sense of belonging. So the truth about this connection is that. It's asking you both to do a lot of inner self-reflection work. I feel for both of you, on both ends, there may be some past wounds that need to be worked on, healed and then released. I feel with the self-reflection card, there's a need to connect with your sensitive and your sensitivities and your emotions more. Some of you in this pile may suppress your emotions, your feelings from the past. Maybe you find them too overwhelming, too deep to handle, too deep, difficult to deal with, so you kind of suppress them. But there's a need to actually confront them, heal them, so that they can be released. Because I do feel, for part one, you and your person have a bit more work to do when it comes to releasing past emotional wounds. At the core of this, I do believe that you both see each other as each other's rock. You are quite dependable on one another and there is a sense of groundedness and balance when 
you're with this person or when you're interacting with them. The Justice card is about looking at things from a broader sense, not just focusing on the short term, but looking at the bigger picture. Through the scene, this connection for what it is, there's a need to step out of your your head and more into the heart. But if you but if you've been too much into the heart, there may be a need to be more logical and practical about this situation. Really tap into why you feel this strong connection. Because I feel for this group, many of you, the more you tap into your heart space, as well as look at your practical and logical thinking, it will become clearer to you as, as to the purpose of this connection. So the Eight of Cups talks about achieving a certain level of inner be- well-being in your life. You may be someone who is very ambitious, successful in your career, in your work life. You may be about to or already have been embarking on a new path, work, career path. So I feel for many of you in this part, you are looking for that next thing to fit into your life. So this is why you feel this connection with your person. You're hoping for this person to fulfill a element on your next journey or on the journey currently on. The Four Cups talks about a person who is just focused on one cup. You see this man, he's holding one cup, but behind him there's three other cups. So this tells me you're someone who has a lot of options in in life, whether that's to do with work or potential partners. But because you feel this strong pull with your person, you've decided to just focus on them when there may be other options available to you. So the Knight of Staffs is quite like the Knight of Wands in the Rider Waite deck. This is someone who's fiery, loves adventure, is passionate, probably enjoys travelling, movement. So I feel for part one, this embodies your energy. You're the passionate one in this. You're the one who loves moving forward. It's almost like you love moving forward so much that you don't like to be in one place for too long. So perhaps this is why when you've had previous relationships, when it hasn't worked out, you kind of like put it in the back of your mind and moved on to the next project endeavour to keep yourself busy. But there's a need to confront things when they don't work out before moving on to the next. I feel with this connection, your feelings is that you're looking for the next thing to fit into your life. The next thing that could fulfil you. You could be someone who is quite successful when it comes to work and your career path. So you're looking for that missing puzzle now. You're, miss, you're looking for that love of your life. Part one, I feel for many of you, you're looking to settle down. You're looking for a romantic, long-term relationship. You're looking for a life partner. 
you're someone who has many admirers, potential suitors, but it feels like you're very focused on this person disconnection. Whereas your person, I feel, at this moment, is not really looking for a romantic relationship. Although they may have some strong feelings towards you, they may be interested in you, I feel their energies are more geared towards their, their work, their finances, building their foundations, their inner security. Because with the four coins, I feel this is more of their energy. They've achieved a certain level of prestige with their work or their career. And it's like they're looking for more of that in their life at this moment. I feel they're more centred towards personal goals, personal achievements than a relationship. So the truth about this connection is that it's shown both of you there's a need to open up to your feelings and emotions more, to truly be vulnerable yourself and maybe to be vulnerable with one another. Maybe there's a need to express your feelings to each other. I feel both of you are quite sensitive, intuitive people. Somehow, there's a blockage that may be blocking you from expressing your true feelings and needs to each other. I feel Archangel Michael, who's the Archangel of Love and Protection, may be able to assist you in removing some of those blockages you may have within you. But with the first chakra, this is about the root chakra. It's about gaining your own inner sense of balance. Having strong foundations and values and morals for yourself and standards. So it's very surprising because I've noticed all these three top cards equate to the number eight. So here this comes up to number eight. This one also three and five is eight and the justice is eight. So for part one you may want to look into angel number 888. Also I feel the number 8 in numerology may be symbolic to you. There may be a need to go within to reclaim your power. You may have given away your power in a past situation, which may be why you're hesitant to be open and transparent and vulnerable with those close to you, especially with this person within this connection. Eight is the number of inner authority, balance, strength, power. So are those things that you're recognising within yourself? Are those things that you're claiming within? If not, I feel there's a need to work within these areas, on these areas. I feel also the number eight may be symbolic to you or to your person. Perhaps you were born, you or your person were born on, on the eighth, the day, on the birthday, on the eighth or, or the eighth of the year, the month of August in the year. Or maybe that's when you may see a breakthrough in the month of August, but I do feel eight is playing out quite strongly in this reading. 
So the truth of this connection is to allow both of you to really look within, to heal some old wounds, past hurts, to be more transparent within your relationships, to tap into your sensitivities, your emotions more. Because I do feel both of you are very sensitive people, nurturing, caring people. So I feel in terms of this connection, it's not going anywhere. So the main focus is about pulling back your energy and focusing on your needs for the, for the time being. Because it feels like on one side we have someone who is very quick to move on and wants this missing puzzle in their life. And on the other, we have another energy that is very passionate and very driven and wants to work on their personal goals, personal foundations. Although it's now just come in, you may be both mirroring one another. Perhaps you're seeing each other as the solution to each other's life, but I feel like the deep at the core of both of you, you realise you're aware that you, you can't give someone away your power, there's a need to step into your own power and work on finding that completion within, feeling whole within, truly loving yourself, seeing your own self-worth. Because before you can actually give love, healthy love, and be in a healthy relationship, it's important to find a wholeness within. So that's all I have for you, part one. I hope this reading helped and it resonated. If you liked it, please ensure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more video uploads. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Hello part two and welcome to your reading on what is the truth about this connection, your feelings and your person's feelings. For all those that choose the clear quartz crystal. Let's see what you've got. Hunger. Magician and a mirror. King of Spring. Two of Cups. Page of Coins. The Devil. Nine of Swords. Okay, bear me for a moment whilst I try and connect with the energies of these cards. So, the truth of this connection, I feel, is there's mutual romantic feelings, mutual love there. It may be, at the moment, it could be a platonic relationship where you're more, you're more like friends. But I feel, I do feel there's potential of this relationship evolving into more, something more stable, evolving into a romance, possibly. It feels like the underlying theme for this connection is a hunger, a thirst for a deeper sense of fulfilment, a deeper sense of being, 
truly feeling whole within yourself. Truly reaching the depths of your inner core. I feel for this pile. Some of you may be life path 11s. Or if not, the theme of the master number 11, which is spiritual illumination, plays strongly in your life. The magician in the mirror tells me this connection is about both of you stepping into your power, your manifesting abilities. It's about both of you being creative in your inner world, what you truly want and manifesting that into your reality. There's a need to assert what you want in life, to put it out there. Not just keep the ideas inwards, but putting it out there to manifest them into reality. So I feel the page of coins, which is equivalent to the page of pentacles, is reflective of you, how you're feeling. You reach that level in your life where you're financially financially secure and now you're ready to offer someone a new beginning. You're ready to open up to possibility of love and new endeavour. So that's how you're feeling. You're ready to offer security to someone else. Your person, I feel, may be in energy of push and pull. So as you move towards them, they may pull back and vice versa. As they move towards you, you may be pulling back. It's almost like there's this invincible string cord that when one of you moves forward, the other moves backwards for some reason too. But I do feel for part, you part too, you're ready to offer some kind of stability. You're ready for a stable relationship, a new stable relationship. But I feel your person may be unsure at this moment as to what they want from this connection. They may be weighing their options or they may be distracted with other things in their life. The Nine of Swords talks of someone who is mentally conflicted. They may be in the energy of sorrow, grief, fighting their own inner demons. So I feel this is more reflective of your person, their energy at this moment. Because with the Devil and the Knight of Swords, I feel your person may be pulled back and forth, left, right and centre, with their own inner thinkings. They could be overthinkers, they may have many conflicting inner thoughts. They may have so much grief, disappointments in their life, which kind of pulls them back into limiting ways of thinking. But whichever this is, I feel your person has a lot of inner work to do before they can meet you on equal grounding, equal standing.
So the truth of this connection is it could work out, but with force it could actually become anything stable. Some time is needed, some patience is needed. Allow each other the space to work on your own individual needs, your goals. But I do see there is mutual feelings towards one another and disconnection. Two of Cups is a mutual loving feeling. There could be mutual support there. Something draws you together, something, pull, something pulls you together. There's this undenying sense of attraction, pull, love, care for one another. So the truth about this connection is it could work out in the near future, but for the moment your person may need to do some inner work before they can meet you on equal footing. So I hope this reading helped part two and it resonated. If it resonated, please leave a comment below. And if you like this reading, please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more video uploads. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello Par 3 and welcome to your pick a card reading on the truth of this connection, your feelings and your person's feelings. For all those that chose the amethyst crystal, let's see what you've got. Peace. The world. Six of summer, which is the equivalent to the six of cups in the Rider Waite deck. The star. King of staffs. The sun. And the hermit. Okay, bear me for a moment whilst I try and connect with the energies. Okay, first thing I'm picking up is whatever this connection is, it's it's helping you with major lessons, themes, transformation in your life. You have three major karnas in this bottom row, the star, the sun, the hermit. Major karnas in tower decks are significant changes in your life. Also at the top here you've got the world card which I feel is quite symbolic. So the truth of this connection is to help you connect and become your best self. You see look the world it's about looking how, looking outwards, as well as inwards, to see what role you play in this world, your part. How do you make a difference in your own life and to other people's lives? 
Are you complete within? The star tells me you may have undergone a deep period of healing, which you're now coming out of. Now you're able to see more daylight. You're seeing, you're recognising, you're acknowledging the beauty of life. And you're trusting life more. So the truth of this connection, I feel, is that you're both helping helping each other grow in beautiful ways. I feel you both complement each other. You're helping each other find inner peace. I feel this connection is a loving, respectful one. You may know this person from childhood or from the past, feeling at ease with each other, understanding each other well. I feel both of you may even both be nature lovers. You love being outdoors. You love spring and summertime. The night of stars, I feel, in terms of your feelings, both of your feelings are quite strong for each other. You're both quite fiery, passionate people. We're both very popular people. You create opportunities in your life. The sun is a very powerful card. This symbolises solar plexus energy, vitality, youth, happiness, joy, positivity, strength. So I feel both of you, your feelings mirror each other's feelings. So there's a strong sense of attraction, passion towards each other. And to get to that place, I feel either one of both of you or one of you has spent some time in solitude to gather your thoughts, to truly connect with your inner wisdom guidance. Also, I feel both of you have an abundance of inner wisdom, which you can share with each other and which you share with others to help uplift others. You both are very wise people. So the truth of this connection is it's allowing you both to tap into the energy of joy, fun, laughter, to balance, not being too serious all the time. Because I feel for both of you, you are quite similar in terms of qualities, ambitions, but this connection is allowing you to embrace your inner child, get out there, have fun, let your hair down at times. So in terms of your feelings, I feel both your feelings towards each other are mutual. There's a strong attraction. There's passion. There's positive energy. There's strength. But from time to time, I feel maybe you or your person, or maybe even both of you, requires some alone time, solitude to put your needs 
as a priority to truly go within, make some time for self-care, which is very healthy. With the star, it feels like this connection was destined, was fated to happen. To allow you both to step into the energy of grace, elegance, joy, patience, the present. To allow you both to reconnect, embrace your inner child. And to heal from the past. I feel this connection is bringing peace to both of your lives. With the world card, I feel... you complete each other's world not because you're codependent on each other but because you complement each other you love support one another but there's this healthy balance of give and take I feel you both are very spiritual people you may be very good in Mentoring, advising others, helping people come out of dark periods. I feel for this connection, both of you have, have both of you have helped each other come out of dark periods. The number eleven is quite strong, so you or your person may be life path elevens. Or if not, the number 11 could be quite symbolic. Either you were born on the 11th or November of the year is a special time of the year for you. Your feelings for each other are mutual. You feel at ease, you feel comfortable with one another. There's strong feelings that pull you together. As well as this, this sense of balance, peace and balance and mutual respect. So part three, I feel the connection is a positive one. Is one that will help you both step into your power. Fulfilling your own personal goals. As well as working together to possibly accomplish a partnership you may even decide to work together to, f to fulfill a greater cause so that's all I have for you par 3 I hope this reading helped and it resonated if you liked it please like share and subscribe to the channel for more video uploads and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.